At this time, we present our recovery court judge, David Allen, and the graduates for the 22nd District Recovery Court. Welcome them now. Most of them, I met them in the jail. They were so broken and so hopeless and was not sure at times when they said, I should have stayed in jail. This is not what I wanted. But to see them now with their caps and gowns on, walking to pick up their diplomas, yeah. People who are not familiar with this model, the recovery court model, can't appreciate how difficult the protocols and the accountability is for these people. Ms. Nikki White. I think the biggest thing is being honest with yourself and know that you need help and trusting the process. We sometimes have to trust the process and as long as we do what's in that packet and we and walk in integrity as long as you do what you're supposed to do when nobody else is watching, are oh, you gonna make it? You're gonna make it. Keep pushing. You have to push yourself, you know what I mean? And in order to find peace you have to go through great pain. Not only that, but you're not alone. It's teaching you a different mindset because that's where the change has got to go. It's, you've got to have a different mindset and learn to live a different way and think a different way. If not, if you never change that, you're never going to change. It's not being sober. It's living a life of recovery, and that's a totally different world. You want to put life families back together again. Uh, you know, it, it impacts our schools. It impacts our teachers when that's going on. It just has a trickle-down effect that affects your whole community. Some of them have regained, uh, gotten their driver's license reinstated. They've regained custody of their children. They are all working uh, full time, and their changes have been made in their lives. It's easy to put people in jail. Uh, what's not easy is changing people's lives. And uh, when you get to see people that are uh, truly changed, it just, I mean, it's a much better feeling than, uh, than convicting someone and sending them to jail. With the help this team provides, then it's healing in the community and the ripple effect is astounding. You know, we set out to change their lives and in the process, they changed ours. Sometimes it just takes that one person to believe in you to get to open the door to, for you to be able to to see your worth. All right.